Well, hello. Welcome to episode 13 of Paint with Rob the Builder. This episode is dedicated to Sarah, Aaliyah, and Riley Jr. Um, I'm going to attempt a black canvas with an oval cutout. The goal is to make a, a mountain scene, hopefully purplish, bluish hue, I guess. But we're going to give it a stab and see how it turns out. So I have the colors that I got on my palette is I have white, um, blue, red, green, yellow, burnt sienna, and Van Dyke brown. And I got a little mixture of red and blue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, put some color on a black canvas. And what that does is that's going to, you know, we're going to put a little bit random colors. We're just going to put some color on there. What I'm trying not to do is get outside this circle. Sometimes it goes underneath. The contact paper I'm using um, obviously isn't the best because it, it would really adhere better, but it's not. So, and how you really can, I mean, it's, this is probably going to be water down here, the very bottom. Because what you're going to do is we're going to expose it to weight. I'm just trying not to get it underneath that. And what we're going to do is we're going to use white to kind of highlight the center of it because we want it to, we want it to uh, really stand out. So. So when you're painting, you want to start on the contact paper because you don't want to go this way and go underneath. That was my mistake the last time I did it. So I have this color all over the canvas and we're going to see how it works. So it's going to be more blue than anything else. I'm going to wash out the brush. And you really want to get your... Since I want to take, you kind of want to see, as you can see, when you dry it off and you can't see that. So I'm going to maybe try to make it so that you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm bear with me one second. I'm going to Sorry, there we go. So, so I got, okay, I got some blue on the canvas. I'm going to use a little bit of white. Actually, I'm going to use a different brush. I'm going to use one of the Bob Ross brushes. Yep. So, a little bit of white. We're going to. We're going to start here in the center. Yeah. I didn't put any liquid clear on there because I really don't want to. As you can see, I'm trying to trying to keep the, the white. Okay. 
So this is going to be the center of our light source. I just saw this and I'm like, man, that look would look good. Because, you know, you want uh, the overall surrounding. As you can see that, yeah. Oh, so you can see that. It's I can't see it when I'm looking dead at it. But when I looked back, it looked like... And so keep in mind, I'm just making sure that... But actually, it doesn't look too bad like that. So maybe the rays, maybe the... So I'm going to get just a little bit more white because I want it to I want it, I want it to stand out a little bit more. Yep. It's going to actually look pretty cool, I think. And again, some of these some of these paintings are trial and error. I've seen them do it and sorry, I don't mean to get in your way. I think this light is probably I want you to be able to see it, but I want uh, I want to be able to see it too. <laughs> okay. There we go. I like that. Do you like that? See that little? It's like a moon burst, you know. A little bit more. I just want it to, to be so when we do the mountain. A little bit more. Um, okay. Because we're gonna put some, uh, we're gonna put some clouds in there. Man, I don't know how Bob Ross holds this easel or this paint. This paint. Uh, all right, I'm just I'm trying not to cover it up, so. Still want to get more white on there. Yep. You can probably see the outline of the circle, but that's what I'm going for. I'm just going to get a little bit more white. And then we, there we go. Okay. Actually, that's going to look kind of cool. All right. I don't know. So... It's more on the bluish side than the purple side, but there are, there is some hue. So I'm going to go ahead and clean the brush. Now Bob doesn't leave the brushes in the solution. Yeah, so that yeah, kind of gets it clean. So, so now 
what I want to do is I want to use a fan brush and I want to get some clouds in there. So let me just see. I like making clouds low. All right, so we got enough clouds in there. I'm just gonna go ahead and smooth this out a little bit. All right, so as you can you kind of see the clouds, I think maybe we need to make them so they're not as like, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna go clean this, the fan brush. So I am going to then, so we got clouds, we got mountains. So I'm gonna take some of this mixture. Okay. I just gotta be mindful of where I'm, what I'm focused on, so. They always say it's a little roll. So with that, I'm just gonna go. You kind of, you don't really care about the, what's going on inside as much as you do the outside. So I'm just going to go ahead. I'm just trying to figure out where. So that's one mountain. Thinking we're probably going to do a bigger mountain. But let's 
let's let's let's get this let's get some white on there so i'm going to take a little bit of white oh sorry so let me go ahead and put this down and we're going to going to smooth out we're going to smooth out our mouth so let's You really just want to make sure this is smoothed out. Okay, so that's one, as you can see, so that's one mountain. Yeah, I don't mean to block. I'm sorry. I'm trying to make it so that you can see without me getting in the way. So I'm going to... I'm actually going to try something different here. I'm actually going to use I'm going to use a What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make it so that you guys can see me. I apologize. Mm. You with me still? Probably not. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay. So I'd rather have you see the board than me. So let's put it that way. So I'm, I want to go ahead and go. quite go like I expected, but have no fear. I'm going to try it this way. It does, it, it does put a little bit of background on it, but I want to go ahead and
it go. So, as you can see, you probably still can't. Bummer. All right. Okay, good. So now, so now I have to make a like a, a like a shadow or That's a little mountain, so we're going to put a little bit more. Okay. Hmm. What do you think? So that's one of the mountains. I don't know, maybe if that's, if that's the only mountain I need to do, then I have to start trees way in the back. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna set this pallet down. Man, my arms aren't like they used to be. So. So since that's our mountain, we're still gonna do water down here, but I wanted to kind of Start off in the back. Uh, and we're gonna probably because I want it to. I want it to be. This is a deeper green. I'm going to start back here. So, I'm just trying to think over here. All right. So,
Okay, so so to depict distance, we're going to put those way in the back. I'm actually going to... Um, I want to depict snow. I don't know. Sometimes as I look at it, I go, ooh, I like that. So that is, so I think I can show snow. So I'm going to start way back here and go. And as you come closer, you want to try to get as much of the, I mean, I want to show white, but you don't want to keep dragging. So, off into the distance. Yeah. So, I'm going to try to, I do like that. Sometimes it's hard to, I'm just looking. This is how I pause sometimes and think about what I want to do next. Because um, I'm going to put trees like here in the front. So, but I want it to be like. I do like the green. So we're going to have more greenery. So I'm going to probably make the trees bigger. I do like that. So I'm going to make bigger trees with the bigger fan brush. So I do like the... So these trees are, they're still, these are going back and then these here are coming forward. So. Yeah. 
So if you're looking for distance now, what we're trying to do is we're gonna make we're gonna make these. So these are kind of back by the mountain, and the trees are on this side. So we're gonna just make a a uh, like probably a snowy. Let's do that. Let's make it. We're just going to make some snow here. Yeah, sometimes you want to get the, the green off of there because you don't want it to. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to what I think I need to do. Let me. I don't want to do anything yet with this. I want to keep my brush. I'm going to. I'm just trying to envision what I'm going to do next. So I have, if you can see, I have these row of trees, these trees in front. Um, I'm trying to push this back, which I should be able to. So when you're making a painting and you're trying to do distance, um, you definitely want to make it so that it stands out. 
So if if you're going to do that, you want to make sure that the whatever you're using as far as something that defines distance, like you know, trees and and snow and so this. So the hardest thing is, okay, well, do I want to do a, a cabin? Do I want to do, because if you, you really got a hill, is what, what pretty much what I built was a hill. I kind of want to make these a little stronger. And I want that to stand out. So yeah. Huh. Yep. I just basically said, hmm, I want to do this. I like the distance in it. What can I do? Well, I can always, I'm going to, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to block some trees off there, but I'm going to go like this. kind of wanted to do is to come off the, I want it to be a, like a little lake. You know what I mean? So I want this to be the lake, but I want it to be, be a little bit more defined. I want it to have Mountains, trees. I kind of want to put a big tree in here. So I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to do big, darker trees. So, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that, shall we?
All right, so with that being said, So, kind of snow-capped trees. I don't know what you guys can see, but mm, okay, I'm liking it. They're, they're darker, so they're closer to us, but I am going to probably do some land here. Let's see. I want to see... I'm just trying to see what the what this brush will do as far as land. Oh. So, Hmm. You know what? I could do. I could do a cabin there. I'm just trying to, I'm just debating on what I want to do here. Even if you do a small house, do I want to do, um, do I want to do a house? Every, every picture looks good with a house, right? All right, you convinced me. Let me see if I can do a house.
Um, ooh, do I want to do a bridge? Let me see. I might want to do a bridge. Don't want to do a bridge. Huh. Interesting. Um, do I want to do a bridge? I don't want to really do a house because I mean, I could do a smaller house right here. Maybe I could do that. Let's do that. Let's maybe I'll do a smaller house. I'm just trying to see. So that's the start of a house. I think I might as well. You want it small enough. You don't want it to be like this big, gigantic, huge house. But I wanted to make it so it stood out. A little small cabin, how's that? It's cabin in the woods. I'm just doodling. That's garbage. Sometimes when you're using a, a, um, brushes that really aren't made for oil, it doesn't come out the way you want. But... Okay, I'm looking at a darker color, let's see.
Yep. So it's a little cabin in the woods. Um, there's a little lake. Because you don't want the cabin or whatever to be bigger than the mountains or the trees. So we got a little cabin in there. We're going to make a bigger tree. I'm going to make it... Uh, we're going to kind of leave that... So you know it's a lake. But I want to make it... Uh, I guess I want to make it have a border. You know what I mean? making a border you know there we go yeah we just want to know where the So that defines it. So now what I'm going to do is I see where I use, I go through so many brushes, but I want to be able to, I want to be able to define you know what I'm saying? So yeah. There is You guys still with me? <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I'm just marinating on it. So, since I have that, we're going to make some trees that stand out. Now, with that being said,
There we go. So whenever you put trees in the center like that, it kind of, it should push everything back. It gives it a little bit more dimension. Um, I'm gonna make some, what I'm gonna try probably do is I'm gonna make some deeper pine trees. I don't know if this is gonna throw people or not, but we're gonna go ahead and do it, why not? Because I figured if these are pines back here, bigger pines, then... So I'm going to take some... I might have to take some... I haven't done this before, but we're going to. Okay. So now... Now I'm worried. <laughs> I'm worried that, man, are those too thick? Or do I just leave it at that like that? Uh, well, so if I go... see how they're gonna because uh, once you hit it I can you know what I'm just trying to think about how it's gonna go down too late now So, those trees, see how it covers up the trees and you're like, oh man, but then I'm going to come behind and make Now, here is, here's the best part.
How does that look on your end? Yeah. I think we can improve a little bit more on that. All right, let's see where we're at. Oh, an hour. Wow. Right, so I think that we're gonna call that a finished painting. I'm gonna tinker with it a little bit more, but I think that will about do it for now. And I appreciate again, you guys joining me again. Sorry to be silent, but I wanna make sure that I do it justice, but I am actually going to take this off. So hopefully, um, this comes off cleaner than it did last time. All right. Well, it came off a little bit cleaner, but again, that's what we're working with. go thank you again please like and subscribe episode 13 thank you so much have a good night